In the late 1800s, dog shows become more popular in England. This led to breeders create more distinct breeds and types of dogs. The Field Spaniel is a mix of Cocker Spaniels, English Springer Spaniels, and Sussex Spaniels. These dogs made a great companion on a hunting trip, but they also performed well in dog shows. Field Spaniels became very popular quickly, however, breeders tried to make a more show-worthy dog and exaggerated some of the traits making the breed less attractive. This caused their popularity to sink and the variety nearly went extinct. In the 1960s, breeders worked with some of the original bloodlines of the Field Spaniel, such as Sussex, Cocker, and English Spring Spaniels to rejuvenate the breed. These dogs make an excellent family pet. They are playful, intelligent, and tolerant of children. This breed is also sweet and sensitive. They are a very intelligent dog breed which makes them easier to train than some other breeds. They have a lot of energy and require regular physical activity. This makes a good family dog. They are playful and patient around children. When this dog doesn't get the exercise they need, they can become destructive. They are relatively easy to groom. They may cost more to adopt than some other dog breeds. These animals are a medium-sized dog breed. Males and females both weigh between 35 and 50 pounds. Males are a little taller at around 18 inches compared to a female's height of 17 inches. Six-month-old puppies weigh between 20 pounds and 45 pounds and should be fully grown by the time they are 12 months old. These dogs may suffer from some of the health issues shared below. While these are known issues for this breed, it does not mean that every dog will be impacted by them. One possible concern is hip dysplasia. Hip dysplasia is a genetic condition where the hip bone doesn't develop properly. The bones at the hip rub together which cause the dog pain and makes it difficult to walk. Surgery may be required for this condition. Field spaniels are also often impacted by low thyroid. Symptoms of low thyroid include weight gain and poor coat growth. Your veterinarian can perform blood work to check your dog's thyroid levels and can prescribe medication to regulate the levels and keep them where they should be. Some spaniels may also develop eye problems. Ectropion and entropion are two common problems. These retinal folds can lead to either sagging or rolling in eyelids. Sagging eyelids, caused by ectropion could result in a dog getting more infections or objects in their eye. Rolling eyelids could require surgery, but these are not as common in the field spaniel breed. Fields are very sweet and sensitive dogs. They have a very fun-loving personality, and their behavior and traits can make them a great family pet. In general, these dogs are very patient with children, but they do not like roughhousing or overly loud noises. However, they will typically just walk away from children who are being a bit too rough for their liking and won't snap like some other dog breeds. Field Spaniels were bred to be hunting dogs. They have a high energy level and require a good amount of physical activity. If they don't get enough activity and are left alone for too long, they may become bored and exhibit destructive behaviors. As you think about caring for these dogs, you'll want to keep the unique characteristics of this breed in mind. Consider their temperament, nutritional needs, exercise needs, grooming needs, and potential health concerns to offer the best care possible to your pet. Field Spaniels can be very motivated by food. It is generally recommended to feed your pet between 1.5 and 2 cups of food each day. The ideal amount for each dog will vary based on their age, activity level, metabolism, health, and other factors. Check with your veterinarian if you are unsure about exactly how much food your dog will need. The total amount of food should be partitioned into two meals each day. 
Puppies have a smaller stomach and will need to eat between three and four times. As the puppy gets older, typically around the age of six months, moving them to two meals each day should be sufficient. Look for high-quality puppy food and check with your veterinarian if you need suggestions on which formulation is ideal for your dog. While field spaniels can be relatively heavy shedders, they are easier to groom than many other dog breeds. However, you'll still want to make sure to brush their coat at least once a week to keep the shedding controlled and keep the coat looking shiny. These dogs also sometimes need a little hair trim around their feet or head. In addition to brushing your dog regularly, don't forget to also keep his ears cleaned, trim his nails regularly, and brush his teeth a few times each week.